five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah! Welcome Ooh. back. We're back, folks. Cuckoo. Thanks Cuckoo. for joining us once again. For uh, yeah, the um, well, the podcast. I'm just going to call it the podcast this time. Um, yeah. As usual, I'm your token straight guy, Mike. I'm Justin. <laughs> Al the Fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for uh, tuning into the only podcast where you get uh, up to the minute ED information. Yeah. <laughs> and absolutely no content of real value. So thanks for showing up, guys. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. You don't have to watch the whole video. Just uh, just hit like and subscribe yeah. and oh. turn on your bell notifications. Oh, but you're going to want to watch the whole video because it's course. fucking awesome. Just it's remember, a, the best content is at only, the very end after we stop the podcast. After an hour and 10 minutes of watching this, you're going to be like, I wish there was more. And there is more. Oh, there's a lot more, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I got this threatening email. Is it from the guy that sits out back? I've gotten this before. This is an... I've, it's been a while. It says, hi, I have full control of your device. Oh, I have a similar one of these. <laughs> I am I aware <laughs> you watch adult sex content. My spyware recorded a video of you masturbating. I also got across uh, or got access to your address book. I'm happy to share these interesting videos with you, uh, with your address list and social media contacts to prevent this from happening you need to send me a thousand usd in bitcoins my bitcoin address okay. is this here use google to find it okay? once uh <laughs> yeah, you fine. can shut your mic off when you're doing that anyway I once i receive the compensation yes consider it compensation i will immediately delete delete the videos and you will never hear from me again you have three days to send the amount i will receive notification once the email is opened and the countdown will begin of course best regards team blackout i sent them a response to the effect of please release it because i really want to see how well i treated myself during this masturbation <laughs> session and i don't typically videotape myself it's no i told them they're a bunch of liars because i don't I haven't viewed porn in <coughs> freaking yeah. ages, probably it, it, years. It's now. like you are, you already showed your whole family and friends like the masturbation bill. I've video. already been like, when oh, you want to know what gets you off really quick? Let me show you really quick. I'll show you something. No, it's like you really think I'm buying this shit? I told them I was going to call a special friend if they if I received another email from them, which would involve me to follow up with the cleaner. So. So you paid it? <laughs> no. Dude, I, I really want these videos to be released. I I'm got, looking forward to it, in so fact. Did, did, I got the I same mean, email you know two many, weeks ago. You know how many times I've said no when I really wanted it? So it's like, no. I got the same email two weeks ago, except mine wasn't in a cool format. Like, it was just a normal misspelled email <laughs> so, going all the way. I think I deleted it. I was just looking for it. I just deleted it. Yeah, anyway... It, whatever if you fall for that scam you're a moron dude, dude, dude. they don't have anything on you oh uh, we we were there's no up. possible way anybody's got any video footage of me jerking off in front of my computer because i was jerking I off when i was reading years. it i was like <laughs> That's, is he recording we, we uh, oh, you're recording now i better get started <laughs> oh shit let me get this angle here i look better from the right you know Next time, let me know so I can make sure the lighting just makes me uh, look uh, like we, I we, we, had we, out we here as a fluffer. High tech industry. Well, I mean, we we got connections to this kind of yeah stuff. I mean, it's, we we know button heads. We know we. I mean, we we know programming. Exactly. <laughs> we know internet. We know networking. We know all this shit. So I mean, if we wanted to, we could. We can find out who these I just assumed mine are. was from my local IT group at work because they're the only ones that have an app on my phone. <laughs> Plus, you only watch porn at work. I figured so. it was, I'll just say, I'll make up a name. I just figured it was Rich and IT had uh, videos of me <laughs> masturbating. I don't know. I uh, No, what it's going off of, obviously, is banking on 
what do they say? Like 70% of internet traffic is porn or something along those lines. So yeah. it's some ungodly in, amount. In my house, it's about 100%. <laughs> so. Allison! <laughs> Damn it, Allison. God. Not is that what we're blaming it on, right? Al? <laughs> you try to pass yeah. the buck on this still? Oh, yeah. We get this bill. So it was this OnlyFans <laughs> bill. I was like, damn it, Allison. You know, that's, that's funny because when I was a teenager, I remember sneaking at my friend's house. We used to try to call those 900 numbers or whatever. Yeah. And then when you get the bill, <laughs> oh. we'd be like, I don't know how that. And they always seem to get them taken off like it was somebody around the neighborhood must have used well, the line to we, uh, well, make the call. The point is. Even if you do watch porn on your computer, they're not going to turn on your freaking video camera and video you anyway. Well, Even if you do watch porn on your computer, stop. Well, porn it, is psychologically is it, not it, good for you it, at all. It is possible. If you have a camera uh, attached to your, your uh, computer, well, you, you fuck. What the fuck? Mine's not working because of you. Is it working now? Yeah, bar- 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 barely. There it goes. You might have to change. You need to buy some new headphones there, buddy. No, yeah. I think it's the. Uh, I think using it's Al's the, uh, second backup ones. Adapter. No, but this is possible to turn on the camera remotely. Yeah, it, it's, it's possible. Yeah, but, but the thing but, about the phones, though, like anymore, like I know so, mine does. So the they're going to get past. They put a little light up there when the camera is activated. They have a little, usually something that indicates that the yeah. camera is usually on. an indication, plus they're going to get. Past your VPN, past your firewall, past everything, and they're just going to turn on your camera. No problem. It's possible. I'm, I'm just of course saying it's, it's possible. It's possible, but 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 why would why would they target a nobody? Well, we're not. I mean, we're, you, we're somebody. Mike. If you want to like, Trump is watching some whatever porn. But we're and somebody. It off. We're we're not nobodies. We're somebody. Don't yeah, you remember? Look, look, look at I your forgot. mom's basement here. Trump doesn't need porn. I mean, he just pays off those old porn stars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, no, but as my point is, is where would they blackmail your everyday Joe? Why would they go through the hassle of getting past your VPN, your firewall, everything else? Because we're somebody. Okay. My thing is, I mean, we may, why would you pay? Well, it in, in that it, case, I am not going to pay the thousand in USD. I really want these videos released yeah. because, do you know, dude, it worked for Kim Kardashian. I would rather it, pay the hooker. It's worked for R. Kelly. All these videos. In that worked, video. These videos are what launch will launch me into stardom. Yeah. So please release them. Mm, you're going to build your micro, they're not there. micro I know they're not empire? Speaking of releasing... Is that a new micro so peen empire that, you're talking about? How was that jack off session? Was that pretty good? Which one? The one they recorded. I don't know which the one, one they recorded. The That's... one I record, I'll show you. It's on my Did laptop. Did you save that right. email and forward it to those two people that sit in your backyard? I have no, I should. <laughs> I have video. I should change it. Do we have an update? Do we do we have they an update? They weren't here today. See, wow. here's the thing. I went to the dentist today, right? Yeah. And by the time I was coming back from the dentist, I'm come pulling into the neighborhood and I'm like, oh, 240. They should just be wrapping up and pulling out of the parking lot. And I'll follow them to see if they're just parents waiting for their kids to get out of school. And I got home and they weren't here. Uh, and I drove by the school. I didn't see their cars. Uh, disappointing. I called up. So when I got home, I, I asked Tanya and she's like, no, the lovers didn't show up today. Mm. And I go, damn it. Damn. I got to go to work tomorrow. I and mean, then, you know, the pr- Friday's my only chance this week. So yeah. as you're thinking about it, when you walked through the garage, was Tanya's hood warm when you walked by it? No. <laughs> She, she, she just walked over there. She didn't she have to drive. Walked, yeah. <laughs> she didn't have to drive over there. But just in case, I went inside and checked under her hood. And no. <laughs> walked by her car checked, in the garage. She checked her like, mileage, the <laughs> odometer. <laughs> checked her oil. <laughs> Made sure the GPS tracker was still charged. So that that's our update for this week. I'm sorry to disappoint uh, you folks, but tune in next week. I may have something more for yeah. you. Damn it. You even got the freaking right music for it, for it and everything, dude. You know, you get copyrighted every time I play this. <laughs> Do we really? Yeah. It's not like- even that little bit. No wonder Mike doesn't have to watch porn. He just looks out his back window. 
No, that's right. But I, yeah. I got video footage. I'll, you do. You should. I mean, freaking that's, embed that, the video. Well, that's, and let the let the let the audience. Uh, come on, dude. You can't even. Nobody's gonna recognize. You can't recognize it. After her. the you fact, you just can recognize the action. Well, what, what do, after the fact, like when when it's done, when they get busted or whatever. After the fact, but not not during. Because I want this to go on. I want this to go on as long as it can. Have no, no, back? no. But we're not gonna go launch it to them. It's our our small audience. Will get to be the judge of what do you think is What's going happening? on in this video? All right, yeah, all right, okay, good. Do we'll you? Do uh, I'll upload it. Have they been back since your family called them out? <coughs> I don't think. I think that was exaggerated because why would they be back? I mean, they've been back, yes, but why would they come back to a place where they know that people are watching them? So they don't. I'll tell you what did happen was Friday they were out there, and there was also a guy who I'm looking at hiring to put up my building and come down. He wanted to come down, look at the pad, this, you know, whatever, make sure that everything was poured right. Talk business, right? Well, we're standing out there on the pad and they're parked over here. And it's like, ah, oh, that's probably making them uncomfortable. By the time we walked back to my garage and the, and I saw this dude off that I came back where they were already gone. Ah, uh, so quirky. they didn't, they didn't like that. I was in my backyard Mm. talking business with okay. uh, a guy I'm going to hire. They were probably just framers. They were going to help out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, she's helping out all right. She's fixing his radio every freaking she's week. She's like, let me check your lumber. Yeah, exactly. Well, if they don't show up, we, we, we have to hunt them down and figure out where, where their new... Oh, I want more on this. New uh, rendezvous point. Again, I, I want this to lead up to... We know where he lives... <laughs> And he's like married, and then we send an anonymous letter to his wife, tell him what time they're gonna be here. Just send the video. And then if it's a, if he's married to a Latina, oh, it's gonna be. We get the cameras rolling, gold. dude. <laughs> I will put up Sony cameras before we send that letter I'll, out. I'll, I'll get the. Uh, you fucked up my God. These is, these are highly uh, sensitive equipment, Justin. So, but no, but it, like. <laughs> It's going to go down big time in that Mike parking needs, lot. Mike's got to invest in new equipment. Because, again, <laughs> yeah. as we know, Latino women never get violent. They're never uh, jealous. That's for sure. They don't get jealous yeah, at they, all. They don't need a reason to cut you. No, they They'll don't. just cut you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, we just could go back and just, discuss. Just because they have I know a Latina man. woman, and she hasn't shown any signs of that yet. Yet. Go ahead and click like if you remember Lorena Bobbitt. So... Yet, does, does she carry a knife? I don't think so. We'll give her a knife and see what happens. <laughs> I'm give telling you. Knife. See what happens. See, see what happens. The yeah. only thing that would make it what interesting is if the dude, if the woman that, that's doing a cheat in the backyard, if she was also Hispanic. Then you would she? have a freaking whole knife fight going on. Yeah, in the you, you get their families involved. They'll be there. Like would be hair and fingernails flying everywhere. everywhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> their whole families. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah. So I, I don't know, but I, yeah, I want more. I want. Look, I'm just as interested as you guys. I want. I want to see more too. I'm. I'm. I'm I want to know what's going on here because it's interesting. Anyway, but I'm telling you. It's some one form or another. What's going on back there is forbidden. So, one mm. or both of them are married. Mm. <laughs> what the hell? We already did it once in this uh, podcast. We may as well get flagged twice. Does it only flag once, no matter how many times you play it? It'll give the timestamp of where it was but oh, you, you did know, it at five minutes and 30 seconds then five minutes and 34 seconds five minutes and 30 well, if you, you notice, didn't start the timer anyway if, so. if you notice last month's uh check was oh, a lot smaller right oh yeah so because of this is a copyright you just strike. use that vanilla ice defense we changed a couple notes <laughs> instead of dun 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 you know <laughs> yeah so. that was our own version <laughs> Oh, my jaw hurts. Wow. Why does it hurt? Oh, never mind. You don't yeah. have to ask. You don't have it's to ask. It's because of my job. <laughs> 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 
The blow job. Layoffs are coming, huh? Yeah, exactly. No, I had to go to the dentist today. And? Get my tooth ground off. Get a temporary. At the end, you were like, well, I can't afford that bill. And they're like, oh, you can afford (laughs) it. You won't even feel this because the Novocaine still. Speaking of, I got to find another uh, dentist. They're not taking uh, my insurance. Where do you go? In town. I don't want to. So I go right down the street from your house. It's a what? Hispanic dentist. It's two dentists, but it's uh, Union and Academy. It's uh, it's no. It's off of Academy a little bit on uh, what is that? Metal, metal whatever. Metal in. Yeah, somewhere. Up oh, there. is it uh, like a house? No, no, no. It's not a house. That's not a dentist, Al. <laughs> I don't know. It just it just has a shape of a mouth. No, and I well, it doesn't that's a matter. Pass. It's, it's right across from the the bar you go to up there. Because when you come out of the parking lot, you can look just down the hill towards Academy. Oh, okay. And there's the bike shop right there, or whatever. They don't take uh. So my dentist uh, I guess Cigna up their fees or whatnot. So then they're, they're not renewing with uh, Cigna. So you're not the same one, I'm assuming. <clears throat> it's on Flint Ridge. You can't oh, get on no. the same payment plan that I'm on? I might see just how much uh, they Your cost. Your jaw hurts a little bit afterward, but you'll be all right. <laughs> Maybe. I might go that dire- that uh, direction. I, don't I mean, know. you can have them give you gas and Novocaine, so you really don't feel any of it. <laughs> it's actually kind of I'll fun. Keep that in mind. No, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, just offer it up to your... Just offer it up to your current dentist, is all I'm saying. All right. Say, hey, look, maybe we can work something out here, huh? That's where I go right there. That's the address down here. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter, folks, because you don't even know what we're talking about except dentists. Yep. Dentists. Which is code for making extra cash (laughs) with your mouth. (laughs) So I want to talk about something else that's a little bit precarious. Eggs. The eggs in the grocery store. Yeah. There's a shortage. Mm Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, Bird flu, I heard, or something. Well, they got contaminated, right? Like the uh, Eggland's Best. You know, you don't see Eggland's Best in a in a supermarket. Mm-hmm. There, 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 there was some kind of uh, contamination that happened. So do you know anybody who has chickens who has farm fresh eggs? Yeah, my neighbor does. And are they producing? Yep, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've heard that people in the local area, their their chickens weren't producing. Mm. And then they stopped feeding them the chicken feed and started feeding them table scraps, and they started producing. Oh, so really? Putting shit in the fucking chicken feed mm. is the is the conspiracy theory soon to just be a conspiracy, like every other conspiracy theory. But um, mm. do you think they put a vaccine in the? No, they're just putting something in it to keep them from producing, like a vaccine. So again, <laughs> to create scarcity. That's my. That's the conspiracy. Yeah. So it kills them off like vaccines. No. <laughs> so they don't produce eggs. You freaking numbskull. You think Fauci is behind this? No, I'm not saying oh, okay. that. Okay, I was just clearing that up. Look it. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I can believe that. I mean, it's I, a great I, scarcity. I, I wouldn't put it past the government to pull some shit like that. You know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I could be totally wrong, but I'm just hearing that some folks in the local area who do have farm fresh eggs, their chickens were not producing. They got them off the feed and put them on table. I I don't know why you would need a chicken. You can just go down to Walmart and get eggs. Yeah. (laughs) But you don't see, but you don't see the Eggland's best. You don't see that brand in there. I I heard, uh, yeah, something happened with their shit. So I'll tell you my, my other experience was at Costco. I went in there and I'm like, well, I'll take the eggs I have. Stretch it with egg whites. You go into Costco, no more egg whites. Really? Fuck ton of eggs. No more egg whites. Huh. So then I hit one of the guys up there, one of the workers, and said, where are you guys' egg whites? Oh, well, they should be back in the dairy. And I go, there, no, there's not. She's like, and, and we have no eggs? I'm like, no, you guys got a ton of eggs. You don't have any egg whites. 
And he's like, oh, well, what happens is when the egg shortage hit, <laughs> people bought out all the egg whites. Yeah. And then so it teeters back and forth. So yeah. use, use that for what it's worth. I know, that is I know two people. Well, my neighbor. What scarcity does. My neighbor has chickens, and, and they always come by and give us some eggs. You know, it's. They, uh, like I, in the last few months, they yeah, haven't? I never asked uh, about a shortage or anything, but, you know, like once a month, they will give us like a dozen eggs, you know. And I know well, another, another person. Ask them if, if what I'm talking about, if they've experienced that or they've heard yeah. of that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I had heard uh, bird flu or the avian flu is what I had heard. Got to create scarcity, man. We're just like we're diving into That's how uh, you usher in a different political system, conspiracy theories, right? So there was a proposal for the uh, banning of gas stoves, right? <laughs> Which is not going to happen, right? But you guys heard of that, right? I don't know, man. They're going to uh, ban yeah, gas, they were talking gas about stoves. I think we talked and, about it. Yeah, no, I know yeah. they. I know they've made the proposal, but. But, Who knows but, what they're going to enforce? So, Dude, they just outlawed guns in Illinois, pretty much. So Yeah, but you see I mean, how many the, the sheriff and the, how many counties are brace, actually the arm against brace it. for the yeah. pistols, you got to register as a... What's that? Short barrel. The, all the arm brace. Yeah, that's... They're that's like, there's, there's somewhere of three to five million of these ar pistols out there with these braces on it i'm like i would say upwards of probably 20 million or more. Yeah. But, that's, but that's how you create a registry without creating a registry. yeah but that's a trap right yeah because right now okay you're you're you want to do everything by law so now you're going to turn into paperwork and it's something like uh within so many days if you don't if it doesn't get clear it is automatically denied right in so many days like three months or something like that so if the ATF or FBI or whoever looks over your documents, they don't clear it and say, okay, you did everything by law. Here's your tax stamp. You're good to go. If they don't, if they don't get to it within a certain amount of days, it's automatically denied. So you, you automatically are a felon at that point. Yeah. <laughs> so it's well, a trap. Unless you take it off. <laughs> well, it, two things. There's going to be so many lawsuits, yeah. so it's going to be delayed, 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 first of all. Two... The average person that may have one that's not a gun enthusiast probably isn't paying attention, and they're going to end up getting trapped in this. Yeah. I'm not paying attention, but then again, I'm not a gun you know owner I mean? either. There's going to be people that cut, caught up in that situation he, that didn't have any idea. Here's the, the thing. Situation. Everyone's fired an AR. So, well, everybody here at this table has fired an AR before. You can take an assault that, rifle? You can take that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. You can take that brace off. You don't need that brace. Yeah. That doesn't do anything. What if your handicap, okay, Mike? Good. What take, if your handicap? Take the brace off, and I'm not telling you what to do, but take the brace off and put a tennis ball at the end of it if it hurts your shoulder. Okay, but it's not a brace. It's just a tennis ball. Just duct tape a crutch to it. <laughs> so you can you can shoot it without shouldering it. What if you're it's a handicap person? So though. what my point is is that this law is idiotic and solves nothing. By the way, how many short barrel rifles have been used in mass shootings? Quick. All of them. Zero. All of them. So, according to the MSN, just uh, the, the mainstream off. media, yeah. it, it was all of them. So this is just another... <clears throat> yeah, what just are we going to start uh, talking uh, about this Asian on Asian crime that's been taking place? Oh, the Asian on Asian crime. The 10 people that got shot up in California? Yeah. yeah. But that's illegal. I, they have laws against that. How did that even happen? I don't understand. How, how does an Asian get to buy a gun in this country? <laughs> you know, that's my question. Yeah, they're very aggressive. I've seen plenty of movies on Vietnam. Probably, probably angry that they, they didn't get allowed into college. I mean, they, test they already know was... Kung Fu, right? So why give them a gun? Yeah, of course, they so. all they all know martial arts of one form or fashion. They can fight and give them a gun. Of, they have the upper hand. You know? The obvious question is, how did he even manage to drive down there? He walked. Have you seen him drive? <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised he got all the way there with his life. <laughs> this guy is terrible. <laughs> How do you aim? I was watching a Gone in 60 <laughs> Seconds. Like fucking Mr. Magoo glasses or what? Like... I was watching Gone in 60 Seconds and the black guy who was being the instructor for driver's ed or whatever, yeah. and the Asian lady's driving. He's like, look, honey, you can't drive. He's essentially insinuating Asians can't drive. He's like, 
hell, I can't swim. You know what I do is I keep my black ass out the pool. <laughs> and so do you know how controversial that scene would be in the movie? He says that, that would never fly anymore. That's weird because I have a story about something similar to that. Anyway, go ahead. Well, no, that's just my point. So, us saying Asians can't drive is not incorrect. A good so, majority of Asians don't know how to drive. I, I know, uh, I know quite quite a few people that's on the force, right? No, a few years ago, uh, this deputy for for uh, El, El Paso County, what, uh, for our, our county, uh, crashed one of their uh, vehicles, and he was Asian. <laughs> there's, there's just <laughs> there's this joke going. <laughs> DWA driving while Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving him shit about it. So, anyway. Well, hell, man. White men can't jump. What, I mean, what the hell do you want? <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, it's, I, I, I'm just saying, it's not a stereotype if it's true true i mean or it's not there's, racist. there's that's some, why it's the a stereotype, stereotype. Is true. there's some truth right. to it. but that's exactly why it's a stereotype. To, stereotype there's some truth to it therefore it's a stereotype yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah i agree <laughs> what's wrong with that quit being so hypersensitive damn it because you want to know what's starting they're, they're starting to do or what they're planning on doing is ushering in hate speech laws in a land of free whoa speech. Whoa, whoa, whoa you can't say that why it's a law you can't yeah, you can't be saying you that. You can't be saying that hate speech. Just saying hate. Yeah, it's <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get pulled. Well, H speech <laughs> is free speech, so there's no such thing as H speech. H eight. H eight speech. I'm it's garbage. Are you serious? You can't say that. No, I don't know. <laughs> I can say that, you freaking lunatic. Mike, you can say whatever you want. There may be consequences to whatever you say. Yeah. That's fine. There's you may get canceled. Your wife may leave you. Job. Look, I'm not going to walk down the streets of Harlem shouting the N-word. Of course, that deserves an ass whooping, right? Ooh, Ooh that would or, be a good episode. Let's take gonna, you down there You're now. probably going to get killed, right? <laughs> but, again, that's freedom of speech, and it does have consequences. Absolutely. But when I sit there and say Asians can't drive, there's nothing hateful about that statement. It's just a stereotype. It, it hurts, Mike. Well, I hope it does. It hurts. I'm Asian. Good. And I can't drive. Is there a guy waiting for you right now outside to take you home? Yeah. <laughs> it's a white guy, too. And he can't jump. <sighs> Good thing you got that lowered car. You don't get to. You guys don't know. <laughs> that what tuner car. Yeah. This is a Honda. <laughs> I know. It's a Honda. Well, of course. They're all Hondas. Yeah. Or Subarus. Yeah. E Honda. It all depends if you're gay or straight. <laughs> See, if you're gay, then you drive the Subaru one. And then if you're, if you're straight, <laughs> or if you you're you're drive from, the Honda. Or if one. you're from Colorado, you are Patagonia and drive a Subaru. That's what you do when you live here. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Can you just block out the time and put do not disturb? Uh, it, it might be an emergency. It it's might be, not it, an emergency. It might be the president trying to get a hold of me. Because Let me see, because he'd talk to me first. That, he'd only call you for, if uh, I didn't pick up. No, it's not the president. <laughs> it's actually just a Tinder notification, Al. Grinder, grinder <laughs> no, notification. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. It's like Tinder, but <laughs> with down, one subtle reads, difference. It looked like it said Tinder upside down. <laughs> Let me see. You're like, I love those sandwiches. There's lots of meat in them. I need a hand job. Can I get a hot dog like the one on Bachelor Party, the movie? Oh, that's a movie we should watch again. Huh. I did watch the uh, new The Stand series. Was it any good? Yeah, because, well, Randall Flagg is played by, um, what the hell is his name? Shit, is this Alexander... Jones. Graham Bell? Skarsgård. Uh, oh, one of the Skarsgård brothers? Yeah. Okay. Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård plays Randall Flagg, and I'd like, he plays those evil characters really well. Okay. And then, of course, um, our good friend, the uh, bed shitter. What's her name? Um, the bed shitter? Oh. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Uh, oh, yeah. Amber Heard is Amber. in it. Yeah, she's in it. Okay. She could shit in my bed. 
<laughs> walk amongst us. So anyway, it no, it's a it's it's pretty good. I'm in the so it seems like the whole movie's over and there's still one episode left that I haven't watched. So I think that that episode's going to be made to set it up for a part two. Yeah. You ever it, read the, it's, it's, uh, I remember the other, the TV miniseries from years ago. Yeah. Um, I didn't, I, I have okay. never read the book. That was okay. So, uh, it, yeah, I thought it was all right. It was like an eight hour movie. Yeah. Or, well, miniseries total. But. I keep thinking of uh, Anthrax. Walk amongst us. <laughs> that was based off the that that song was based off of uh, Bring the, noise. the stand. Bring was noise. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> it's the only song I know. <laughs> well, I did get for Christmas on Blu-ray, just in case they ever cut it off of streaming. One of the greatest documentaries ever made. They live. So. <laughs> Roddy Roddy Piper only tells the truth of what's going on today. Oh, that fight scene. There's two races of people, and it has nothing to do with the color of skin. I so. thought Idiocracy was. Idiocracy is another good documentary. Yeah. yeah. But that fight scene in They Live, that's classic. It's, it's a classic <laughs> scene, but it's incredibly long. Yeah. It's got to be one of the longest fight scenes <laughs> in cinematic history. Yeah. Just wear these glasses. No, I don't want to wear your glasses. These glasses, like, like all true. If yeah. I said, "Hey, man, check out these glasses," you're gonna see something really strange. We're not gonna get in a fight over. You'll oh, be like, I'll start swinging. Let me check. I'll start swinging. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not wearing your fucking. Get your fucking glasses out of my face. <laughs> do you do you know the movie we're speaking? I know of, what you're Justin? talking about. I haven't watched it in a long time. Though. Yeah, well, I got it on Blu-ray now, so. Ooh, you're upgraded? Well, no, my point is, is Your that VHS they, can, broke they can change the movie. They can take scenes out of it. They can do whatever they want. Was was uh, Rowdy R Roddy Piper ever in another movie? Even even uh, just a cameo? No, but he acted a lot in WWF. Well, yeah, they all. They all I feel like he did a couple movies, but I might be wrong. Let's look this up, because I'm, I'm. I mean, he starred in he has. Because I know he quit or something because of family and then he started I thought he did a little more of the hmm. I'm gonna look so it up he was uh, pre-rock huh he was, he was uh, one of the he was in the 80s well Hulk Hogan for, acted oh, in a few movies yeah, too yeah Hogan did did Rocky 3 and No Holds Barred and uh The Nanny or something like that yeah No Holds Barred No Holds Barred uh he was also in Rocky one of the Rockies Rocky 3 did a cameo yeah. You ever hear him tell the story about how he uh, didn't answer the phone in time for the George Foreman Grill promotion? No. He was supposed. To, he was one of the ones up for that, and so really? it was no longer available when he called back. So he took some other crappy something or other. <laughs> George Foreman. Well, he was like, he was in in his forties when he won that heavy uh, heavyweight title. Yeah, late forties, I think. Well, oh, re, you know. Rewanted. He 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 used to be the heavyweight at one point. When yeah, I mean, you fight in the '60s and the '70s, and then come back in the basically the '90s, 90s and whatever. Yeah, that's a, that's incredible. Knock out Michael Moore. <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh yeah, and he didn't even look that great, and he just those arms were so massive. He just. Yeah. And then those hands were so heavy, it just like. Boom. So to answer the question, yes, he has played in other movies. Um, they live, of course. He played Nada in there. What was his name? Uh, George Nada. And then Hell Comes to Frogtown, he played Sam Hell. Jungle Ground, he played Lieutenant Jake Cornell. <laughs> Cornell. And Portal to Hell, um, Short Jack. Never heard of any of those ones. <laughs> No, because, okay, so... <laughs> Only They Live. Hell That's... Comes to Frogtown was also 1988 along with They Live. Okay. Um, Jungle Ground was 1995. Portal to Hell was 2015. Huh. So... Um, how, many, uh, how many movies have Charlie been in? One tsunami is the only that's the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> Once you've reached tsunami? the pinnacle of your career, you don't do it anymore. You're done. You can walk away. Yeah, you could walk away. You've accomplished. They should make that into a mini series or like a series of shows, a spinoff. They should. 
Well, he was a uh, railroad, rail, rail, rail <laughs> worker. I can't even say it. Rowdy Roddy Piper <laughs> died. Two, right? Yeah, he passed. My goodness. How the hell did that happen? I thought he was going to live forever. Yeah. 2015. Yeah, die. Fucking Macho Man's gone. What about the Ultimate the, Warrior? Uh, Dusty Rhodes. He's gone. Ultimate Warrior? I think he might have passed. I too. feel like he passed away a couple yeah. years ago. Ulti- Ultimate Warrior? I think he passed too. What oh, about yeah. the Von Erics? Uh, they might be alive. It might be some kin of them. <laughs> so wrestling. I think a, I think a lot of the Von Erick brothers died pretty young. <laughs> they did. Well, what, what Kurt and was the other one? Well, there's Kerry Von Erick. Kurt there's, and Kerry. That's what they were. Von Erics. There were several of them. I thought there was like four four brothers or something. I think Superfly Snooker. I think he passed too. Yep. Yeah, a lot of them. Andre's gone. So you have Kevin Von Erich, David Kevin. Von Erich, Mike Von Erich, Chris Von Erich. Oh, there's a ton of them. Yeah. <laughs> They're all in wrestling. Yeah. Kerry Von Erich's the one I remember. Even, uh... Died in 1993. Holy crap. What was there, uh... The tight end for the, for the Niners he back was in the 80s? 30, 33 uh, years old. Francis? What's that? The, the tight end for the Niners in the 80s. Francis, is that the last name? They're, they're wrestling brothers too. But uh, whatever, shit, whatever his name was, he's the only one that played in the NFL. Francis, I think that's the last name, Francis. For the Niners? Yeah, during the Super Bowl. I don't know. Run. I was not a Niners fan when the Niners yeah. were kicking ass in the Super well, Bowls. He was from Hawaii. That's the main, main reason why I know of him. Did Francis. you go to school with them? Francis Brothers. No, he's way older than me. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's play, he was playing in the NFL in the 80s, so he's way older. So Kevin Von Erich says, born 1957. David Von Erich was 58 to 84. Kerry Von Erich was 60 to 93. Russ. I think it was Russ Francis. Mike Von Erich was, was 64 to 87. So... Uh, and then Chris Von Eric was 69 and 91. So, yeah, none of them really lived very long. Mm. <laughs> they lived into their 30s. Yeah. So, as a matter of fact, Chris Von Eric didn't even make it to 30. Wow. He died in he's 69 to 91. It was uh, Russ Francis. That was his name. He played for the Niners. Tight end. For the Niners. And he had a brother. I don't remember the brother's name, but they were in uh, professional wrestling. WWF or WCW? Uh, it was the, uh, might have been Polynesian, <laughs> Polynesian wrestling. Oh, they were luchadors. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so they Same were backyard thing. wrestlers. Same They're thing. Professional backyard wrestlers. Yeah. I got it. Did they have to wear masks or did they just paint their face? Uh, no mask. So they painted their face. No paint. No, what? <laughs> Luchadors are like from Mexico, Mike. You said these are Polynesian. It's all the same. <laughs> Matador, luchador, same shit. It's all the same. Yeah, so, whatever. Okay. Hit Fuck the door. Anyway, whatever. So, so racist. Should we move on to top? No, I'm not. Just because I get confused. <laughs> yeah, he's name, white. Name he's white. three countries Ladies in North gentlemen. America. America, China, <laughs> and Russia. Yes. <laughs> Canada, Mexico, United States. Right? I know, but this is... <laughs> the dude from Fleckis that goes around you interviewing people to a and foreign tells, country? Them, tells them yes. Mexico. And, well, not counting in North America or Central America. Australia and Japan. Never. Mm, never. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been, but yeah. Where you been, Japan? Well, please yeah. expound. You brought it up. What do you no, want to talk you're about? You're just over there bragging like, yeah, man. No, no, no. Oh, I've only been to 12 <laughs> foreign countries, but I don't want to talk it, about it. It's just, you, you talk to any American and say you've ever been to a foreign country, they're probably going to say Mexico. That's about it. Yeah. I've heard they're all shitholes except for us. Why would I go? Actually, so when I was stationed at Ellsworth Air Force Base, a lot of guys would go through North Dakota to Canada because you can drink at the age of 18. 
So there was a town there called Regina. Which okay. sounds like, well, Regina? Anyway. Regina. It's the town yeah. that rhymes with vagina. Um, no. And anyway, you go there, and is it called Regina? We always call it Regina. I don't know what it is. It is called Regina. And I, I never yeah. went there, so I could have gone across the border to. So I've never been to Canada, I've never been to Mexico. I've been to Australia, and I've been to Japan. Okay. It's the only foreign countries. Never I've been to Mexico? Is that where Not you guys there. met? In Australia? In Japan. In Australia? <laughs> when was the soul? No. The soul well, and you were in Australia, like, Buenos Dios! I, I do want to go to Mexico, but the the the, no? fo- the foreign country I really want to go to is Hawaii. Like I hear those islands are awesome. So. <laughs> you better have your passport updated if you want to. <laughs> I know, but that's the biggest thing. I heard they're real uppity down there. Yeah, they are. I do uh, lately with the freaking weather we've been having here, though. I definitely want to move closer to the equator. You can wear yeah. your Hawaiian shirt though and drive around in your Ferrari, and Higgins will take care of you. Oh, it's so amazing! Well, I just got to <laughs> grow a mustache. It's so amazing. Yeah, shave the beard off, but keep the mustache. <laughs> yeah, chicks love it. Hell yeah! Yeah, fuck this weather, man. I'm sick of this, dude. This I've had snow on the ground since. The day after Christmas, we had that really heavy so a couple. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention, Al Gore said we'll have Hawaii weather we're here in the next couple of years. Mm, can't wait. And surf. <laughs> Hawaii surf, too. There is a Babylon Bee. It's coming. <laughs> There's a Babylon Quail wait. Lake. Quail Lake is going to be massive. <laughs> Quail Bay. One, two, <laughs> three, right. four. It's been snow has been covering the ground for well over probably about five weeks now. Do the pause only in your only in your neighborhood. Yeah, do the pause ever come out here? That could, no, they the, rode, drove through the other day, but we don't need them now. I, I yeah, I come driving in here. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, I hope, you drive I put right the down by Walmart down there. There's no snow on the ground. You come up here, it's like I gotta put the chains on. Like I'm up and rich, and I can afford snow on my ground. Well, and it's August. How you guys get snow? They're in gonna August? start charging me for the snow because I'm not using the water to water my grass in the winter time. No oh, tax, snow yeah. tax, snow tax. Yeah. yeah, why not? They'll start with it as snow removal tax, and then they're just gonna call it snow tax. <laughs> but well, when the Californians move in, they're gonna tax everything. Like we know this; it's just a matter of time. They took away our fucking grocery bags. Thanks a lot, California. Or is that a national thing now? Uh, I think Walmart's trying to go national by next year. No, but was this... Colorado voted on that. You, Colorado You yeah. voted that in. Thank you. Thank you, you, you know Californians moving to Colorado. Fuck you, assholes. You Get your ass did, back to there California. There are several counties already doing that for like 10 plus years. You know that, right? Like oh. Boulder. Boulder County was doing that. But here's that. the thing. Even when California implemented it, they said, okay, we're getting rid of grocery bags. They're not, they didn't get rid of them. The charging for them. They just so. charge yeah, 10 cents per bag. Them. Yeah. Which I don't understand. So uh, five or six cents goes to the state or whatever. And then the other four or five cents goes to the store. But they didn't mark down the price of my groceries because of it. Yeah. It's despite the fact that at Walmart, you're paying 75 cents per bag now to buy their shitty Walmart bags. What are you guys doing with that fucking money? Because it only t- it only takes like three cents of some Chinaman in China to make that freaking bag, and then you guys are getting this freaking seventy two cent uh, remember, profit. Uh, remember when airlines started charging for bag baggage? Yeah, remember that? There's no reason they do and that then, ass and then, backwards too. And then I don't remember one, one, that. one airline starts it and the others follow, and then they make billions of dollars just off the the baggage fee. So well, why they not, do that you know? backwards. See, on Mike Airlines, what's going to happen is you're going to get charged for your carry on. You won't get charged for what you check. You can check all the bags you want for free. Your carry-on is what's going to cost you and, money. And, and there's a fee if you want to go inside the plane instead of riding on top of the plane. There's exactly. A, there's be a, a fee. Well, mo- there's not, you're not going to ride on top because my airplanes are all going to be convertibles. <laughs> I'm just they waiting. just to- fly really low to the ground and follow the highways. I, I've forgotten to take a bag, set of bags every time I go to Walmart, so it just ends up in my cart because I refuse to pay for the bags. Yeah. And I'm waiting for that guy to try to fucking check my stuff on the way out. I'm going to be like, don't. <laughs> it looks like I'm stealing. Figure it out on your own. <laughs> you say, well, yeah. walk with me. 
walk with, with me. me. I'm on a freaking. Yeah. I'm on a tight so schedule. You, you want to check my shit? Walk <laughs> no, with I me. don't. At Walmart, I tell them no, thank you, and I walk off because at the point that I've purchased that stuff, it's they, just they, like I brought it in. They it's have now no, yours. Yeah, they have no I right. I own it. Sam's different. I, it's yeah, part, it's, that's a, a, it's a membership. Membership. But I used to. I used to do it all the time. Where back when they would say, "Sir, can I uh, can I check your receipt?" And I'd hand them my receipt and keep walking. You want to give me back my receipt? Fucking walk with me. Oh, I don't yeah. give it to him. In fact, so. when there's like four or five carts deep and they're checking them on the way out, I go around them, <laughs> push them out of the way, and I go out and they're like, sir. And I'm like, no, thank you. And I just keep walking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I do intentionally when I walk in and then I realize... You pull your the, penis out. The line is, the line is too long, and I don't want to wait. You don't see it. I don't wait, want to wait in line to buy a freaking oil filter because it's too small. When you, when you walk out and you got the detectors as you walk out, I walk around the detectors just to see nah. if they'll if they'll stop me. They never do. <laughs> they don't. And you have a TV yeah. on your shoulder. <laughs> Next time I buy a TV at Walmart. I'll keep the receipt in my they're, pocket, and I will walk around. They're actually, uh, <laughs> they shut down some Walmarts across the country that, uh, the the ones that... Those are the ones that they're converting for the agenda. Well, yeah, the, the, the ones that... The uh, FEMA. ...are getting... Uh, <laughs> Hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're, they're, it agenda 21 or whatever those yeah. they're, they're, they're getting shoplifted, like, you know, they, they have the mob. The mob just comes in and shoplifts and... This is just happen, happening like daily. Oh, they this didn't, was they California. They didn't say where, but yeah. you can kind of assume which ones. The ones that Cali, are, are getting robbed daily, they're, they're shutting those down. Well, it's like selectively yeah. the makeup and razors and bullshit in certain ones are in their own area and you have to pay for a free leaf. So what I do is I do all my grocery shopping first. I did this the other day and I went to get my razors last. And when she said, oh, you have to pay for that, I said, okay, I'd like to... I'd like to go ahead and pay for all of this right now. She just let me go. So yeah, yeah. She's like, no, you can pay for it up front. Yeah, and, and if you noticed, on certain parts of town, they're not locked down. Yeah, Woodman's not locked. Is it Woodman's not locked down? There's a couple of them not locked. They're down. They're not locked down. So that kind of tells you the. Uh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're kind of. They're not of, what the razors are in lockdown. Yeah, yeah, they it, have their it, own little section. It kind of gives you an, 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 an idea. At one point for makeup, and I guess it's so. If your Walmart has that, folks, you live in the wrong neighborhood. You should probably move. <laughs> just telling you right if now. If your Walmart saying, does that, you probably don't have a private bar in your basement where you can film a podcast. Well, that too. <laughs> but my mom does. Hey. And I noticed, like, certain parts of town, if you go to a grocery store, certain parts, you'll see the grocery carts just left in the parking lot, in parking stalls. Yeah, and if you do and, that, and, you are a lazy in, fuck. In, yeah, that bothers in, me. In other parts of town, you hardly see a parking, a uh, 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 shopping cart just left in the stalls. That's because you got to get the fuck in your car and get out of there as fast <laughs> as you can. No, it's, it's so you, if you think about it, like, putting the shopping cart into the corral, it, it, it's all based on... um personal morals right you get nothing out of it no you when, don't when you, when you so do what are you implying show, about those people in those areas what Al? i'm implying is there's a, probably a higher concentration of people that deserve that somebody owes them something rather than go out and fucking earn it usually well in you see what my hat says what's my hat say <laughs> i can't read yeah nobody owes you so every, shit. everybody owes you shit nobody <laughs> owes you shit you're not entitled to jack no, shit in this world get your ass out certain parts of town uh, like, and you can see the the crime rates a lot higher in the in the, these places that you will find a shopping cart or shopping carts left in the parking stall. I but you're I right. It's a, it. it's a personal moral. Yeah, I love thing. it because when I was in my teens, right after I got my license, we would go down to the parking lot or well, we'd that drive was by fun. Yeah, to grocery stores, and we would literally line up right behind a cart that's left in the thing and we would push yeah get right behind it stop and then we would see how fast we could go and push it into the corresponding street on the other side of the parking lot <laughs> yeah see but that we was, get it to fly over it's different when you're kid having fun okay because now they do that when they're car in the car corral though now, Mike. now kids freaking take dick pics and send them to one another they're like they don't get out in the good old-fashioned fun where it's like Hey, you know, I'm going to go fuck around and see what, if we take this car and we mix it with this grocery cart, what are the possibilities? So 
California, they I had I think we this, should go do that right now. They had brakes on their carts, so if you push them beyond a barrier... Oh, the they got them here now. Up. Target has them now. Yeah. So what you do is you hold your hand out the window, you get it going as fast as you can, and then you stop the car and you let the cart keep going and hit that wall and see what happens when the brakes hit. It's like, how come kids don't think of this stuff? Like, there's so much fun you can have. It's not on their phone. It's, there's no app for that. <laughs> yeah. There's Ooh, no, I bet there's an app that does that. <laughs> no app for cool <laughs> shit I can do other than on my phone. God, have some fucking I just imagination. downloaded an app the other day. It's called Outside, so I could tell my kids, hey, why don't you guys go play outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. That's but you're right. right. Man, we're that, only seven minutes in. That kind yeah. of, that kind of um, I guess, appearance of your Walmart parking lot or and or where your razors are located in your Walmart does speak volumes about where you live. Well, and, and uh, yeah, you and have the, the guys the, checking. Uh, the type of neighborhood you checking live in. Checking the receipt on your way out. There's some Walmarts that. Mine does, doesn't it, do that it, shit. It doesn't exist, yeah. The one, the, the Walmarts I go to does not exist in my neighborhood because, you know. I make 35k a year or so. The ones where, <laughs> what the carts are everywhere? And no, the, no, they, they don't even check the receipt. They they don't exist. They check the receipt on the way out. Like when when I'm on certain uh, parts of town and I hit the Walmart, I get stopped going out. They want to check the receipt. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell them no, you thank go. you. There you go. Nah, I'm not an asshole. I got. I fucking <laughs> paid for this. I, I'm kind of on the side with Justin on this one. Hey, look, no, I, I paid for it, this it, shit. It's not my job to friggin' figure out your shrink problem that your store has. So yeah. you trusted me enough to do my own goddamn scanning and bagging with the camera that can tell if I put a fucking piece of a tootsie roll into the bag accidentally, <laughs> but then it doesn't correspond to the guy out front, yeah. five feet from where I just checked out. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I agree. Get out of here with that. How did you get on your radio and go, I think that guy's stealing, and then stop me? Yeah. Don't just stop me just because. So you yeah, see me walk out of the stop me. Checkout. Don't, don't even fucking stop me until you got the cops There's a viral video here. Oh, shit. What, what, what uh, Walmart oh, that. was there? Charlie bit me. That one? <laughs> it's a Walmart. The, oh. the, the, guy, the guy's pushing his groceries out, and then, uh, you know, the, the, the fucking security guard stopped him. And he wouldn't even look at the receipt. He just, just uh, giving him a shit, basically. What? Which? Oh fuck! I, I can't remember. I would keep walking, dude. You don't have every. Uh, you don't have no, a right. I, yeah. To he, give me he, shit. he grabbed the cart. I want to be a security guard. Top flight security, motherfucker. Oh, you grab the cart. That's my possession, motherfucker. Yeah. Guess what? You get your hands off my shit, or I'm calling the cops. Damn. I got which, a receipt here that proves it, it, it here if here you don't want to look at it. Oh, it was here in town. It was probably oh, over like Platin. Powers. And Palmer Park? The, the Space Center. Powers. And Palmer Park. It, it was Powers and Palmer Park? Yeah. It was that one. Oh, I think I remember hearing about it. I didn't see it. It, it went didn't. viral. If you try to take my shit from me, I'm oh. calling the cops on you. Or I'm pulling a gun that, on you. Fuck well, it. Guy's if I had a gun. <laughs> that guy's arm will be broken. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> His arm will be broken. Oh, like, I wish like I was scared. Five. I would go full Tackleberry. <laughs> Freeze! Nobody move. He touches me. His arm's broken. Yeah, you don't touch my stuff either. Big you're not, 44 Magnum. Here's the thing: if you're yeah. not even going to look at my receipt, yeah. and you're stopping me, you have no right to detain me. And, and the guy's saying, "Call the manager." He's like, "That's not my. That's not my job." Well, then so I'm going to keep walking, yeah, asshole. He, he was there for like 10 plus minutes, and he he kept trying to go with the the security guard like. Because we'll turn and, this into. So I'm what, gonna, is, what was I'm going to keep do? walking Just with my shit. Hold him infinity. What? If you're going to stop me physically, then we're going to have a lawsuit problem. Uh, yeah. And Walmart's got plenty of money, I understand. So yeah. they, they should No, they be a don't. Lawsuit. That's why they don't give benefits or good pay to their employees. They, they don't <laughs> even have to buy grocery bags and give them to me anymore. They got plenty of I money. I know. How yeah. am I supposed to accidentally have my kids suffocate so I don't have to deal with that anymore? <laughs> Dude, this those bags always had holes in the bottom. There's no way they would suffocate. <laughs> there's, there's always holes. No, serious, yeah. I agree. So, yeah, that <laughs> shit ain't happened like you said. Then you put your hands on me, you're going to have a broken arm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. How big was this dude? Unless he's like 300 pounds no. and fucking six foot five. No, he, he wasn't 
intimidating looking. He wasn't like tiny, but he wasn't like I'm gonna keep walking, dude. You get yeah. physical, we got a problem. Yeah. Do you at least have aviator sunglasses on? So. Yeah. <laughs> Respect my authority. Yeah, I think the guy that he was stopped, he, like, he, he probably was a simp or something. Because, <laughs> yeah, honestly, if, if, if it was like us, I mean, he would have got physical. Too bad it wasn't Steven Seagal. He would have done that moves to block all his hands. <laughs> Here, Yeah, I, I find, too, that he was probably younger as well. Nah. No? No? Nah. Was he an older dude? Older dude. He was, he, I would say he was probably around our age. Then he was probably a simp his whole life. And and, and this uh, is the only thing he can make uh, him feel like a big According to man. some of the comments, like he's been working there for like 10 years. 10 Maybe plus. he just had enough. Maybe he's seen enough bullshit. I'm sure at that job, you see yeah, a lot of but, bullshit. Oh, but, yeah. But the loss does not come out of your pocket. That's the whole thing. Maybe it's, they told him one more guy steals on your well, watch. And... <laughs> Well, and one more guy steals yeah, all your watch. Be. You're fucking out of here. And he's we'll like, be garnishing your wages from here till <laughs> kingdom come. No, here's the thing, but he doesn't give you the right, even as a security guard, to detain yeah. somebody yeah. for no reason. Yeah, you got to call. If you police. suspect them of stealing, shoplifting, whatever, you, you say, call the can I see your receipt? And then they can. He didn't even look at it. The uh, finally, a manager showed up, looked at the receipt, and said, oh, "You're good to go." You know, then I would be then what the fuck is this guy's problem yeah, but the, the the way that the guy that filmed it or you know recorded it there's no film anymore shit but the, the way that film <laughs> the, the, the shit that grows on your dick if you don't wash it <laughs> it's film oh yeah of course yeah no but yeah just uh, like yeah I mean he wasn't near aggressive enough as I think what any other person any other man would be I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean, that guy would have to force, forcefully stop me from leaving the store. And then, like I said, he, he, he would have a broken arm. Let me ask you this. What nationality was the guy he was stopping? Don't know. He didn't have an accent. I, I'm assuming he was white. Yeah. He was cock Asian? Well, <laughs> the only reason I ask is because there is a certain demographic that if a cop sits there and says, I'm conducting an investigation and I'm detaining you for the time being, that certain demographics will throw a freaking fit and decide, I know hey, my rights. today's, today's a, a, a good day to fight a cop. I, I know my rights. Oh, you're talking about white nationalists? So what I'm saying is they wouldn't dare just stop them and not ask for a receipt and all that other bullshit to that demographic because they know they get their ass handed to them yeah. right there in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm assuming he was white. There's yeah. no accent, no... no, no uh, Pigment. Oh, well, this, no, well, is because still on YouTube, he, he wasn't filming himself. You know, he was. Oh, he the, was the actual guy filming. Yeah, I thought you were saying there was somebody no, else. That, so, and just based on his voice and whatnot, I, I could not pick up any type of. Uh, so you're saying, uh, based uh, on the picture clarity of the camera phone, it was probably a white guy. <laughs> just, just, yeah, I could not pick up any any uh, kind of accent or, or, or what you call that. Uh, you know, like parts of the country, you have certain type of uh, like dialects and things. Yeah, like that. I I could not pick. You know, it just sounded white. So I could be totally wrong on that, but it just sounded white. What does white sound like? Like what you're saying. Right howdy, now. howdy, howdy, like howdy! Like what you're what you're saying right now. <laughs> uh, just for, if you if the audience is wondering, just rewind back five minutes and listen to Mike talk. <laughs> That's what white sounds That's like. That's exactly what uh, Al is talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I typed. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Mike. Walmart exactly. in the city we live in. Security stops guy for no reason. And there are a ton of Walmart videos that just came up. <laughs> I just struck Walmart gold on YouTube. Mm. Making a bomb in Walmart. Walmart ordered to pay four point four million dollars in shopping while black lawsuit. See, I can't pull that card. I can't be like, you're stopping shopping while white. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Stopping while white. And then get a $4.4 .4 million out of that. Yeah. What that the hell was that, that story? That doesn't mean anything when you say shopping while white. A couple months back where somebody was joking about dropping some bombs or something like that. Taking a shit. And then they. Oh, they shut down a store or something. Was it a store or an airline? I can't remember what it was. Uh, but they were like. Yeah. Joking well, around. You shouldn't joke about like that in the airport. I don't think it was an airport. A, yeah, I think it was in a store. Like if it was like, in Walmart, I, it would be. I'm about to drop a bomb. Yeah, he was like, I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> they call the. They call nine one one. 
Hey, man. <laughs> it, it depends on whose mouth those words are coming out of. Like, yeah. if it's some punk kid, it's not, he'll be like, oh, my God, this guy's going to go set off a bomb. It's like, oh, this guy's got to go take a shit, man. You know? So if you're wearing your hoodie over your head and you got a beard hanging out. Yeah. You're like, man. <laughs> you're I'm, a bomber. I got go, to gotta drop a bomb. <laughs> I'm not going to think twice about it. If it's some guy in a freaking business suit or something like that, I might go. That's weird that he would say something like that. And if he's white, it's like, oh, you got to take that shit serious. Yeah, watch Especially that. if he's got short sleeves, it's like in freaking falling white down. white devil, man. It's that white devil. <laughs> what was his name? Was the actor's name well, Michael? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. What was his name? But yeah. Douglas. Michael Douglas. Yeah. He just falling fucking down. snaps. <laughs> he just snaps that day and just... That should be a training video. That should be another one to your collection, Mike. All these documentaries falling, falling down. Falling down yeah. with Michael Douglas. I got to watch that one again. That, that guy just snaps. Yeah, he's in traffic and he just yeah. snaps one day. He just walks away. That also happened to Dudley Moore and crazy people. I think we've discussed that on this what podcast. What about Arthur? Before. What about Dudley Moore and Arthur? Well, no, but Dudley Moore literally loses it <laughs> in traffic. I know. I'm just in, Look, Who's saying that uh, the theme song, Christopher Cross? Was, was that the artist? For Arthur? For Arthur, yeah. I don't you remember what the theme song is. Why like, don't you he, plagiarize he, he had, it? Well, he had like, tons, right of, tons of hits during that time. And, and the dis, distinct sound of, uh, of his voice sounds like the Doppler effect. It's like, what's in the life you find? <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you don't remember? Christopher Cross. Why don't you get us a copyright uh, <laughs> violation real quick and play it? Uh, never mind. You, you just mentioned Arthur and the theme song just popped in my head. And Anyway, <laughs> let's move on from this because I think uh, that one person that's still watching is probably falling asleep by now. So I got to find that video and then review the footage myself and I will give my two cents on it next week. I'm curious about that. I would, I would not put up with that shit. <laughs> you don't get to just stop me. Yeah, yeah. Not look at my receipt. Not tell me why. Not call a manager. I'm walking, bro, with mm. my shit. Yeah. And if you put hands on me, there's gonna be problems. So, especially if you're a little dude. Again, it might be a bigger problem for me if the guy's like jacked and six foot yeah. five. Six nine, yeah, <laughs> fucking three hundred pounds. You're gonna get us flagged. Doppler effect, see. <laughs> okay, we can't post this now. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, you fucked it all. No, up. you did everyone a favor. Up. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Maybe I will eat that burrito. Yeah, fatty. <laughs> All right, then gonna, let's wrap this up. Any, we gonna, any, we're not going to talk about anything during the podcast? Any last words? No, I really missed you guys. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, thanks Make for... Make sure you hit like, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications to get all of our latest content. And share. And remember, and the best sure content share. is after this part right here, so stay tuned. There's yeah, nothing, your mother. There's, there's nothing after this part. Yeah. I don't know. There may be. Just keep watching. flag it is it's not it's a british flag and it's the state of hawaii flag and there's cock asians you're, you're, telling telling cock me, Asian? you're telling me the asians couldn't even come up with their own flag they have to copy they're the brits they're polynesians they're not asians oh i love that sauce <laughs> i love about? polynesian sauce i'll give you some fucking power right it. across your I fucking mouth <laughs> what about cock asians them and got a couple of, of Caucasians? There's a couple of them right here. There's two of them right uh, here. Uh.
I'm German Polish. I'm a German Polish Italian American. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cocky. You, know, you call me anything other than that, and you're a racist. German and Bohemian. Yeah, Rasputin. German Bohemian uh, American, right there. See. Well, you're, you're just Hawaiian. I'm Asian. But you're not a cock Asian. No. You gotta be white to be a cock Asian. But not all white people are cock Asians. Yeah, some of them are nice. According to my oldest son, because I have German in me, that I'm responsible for killing the Holocaust. He just jokes around with me. My mixed with son, he's like, oh, you hate black people because you're German. Uh, I agree with him. <laughs> why, do you, why do you think I keep you around, son? Yeah. So I can yell you're, at you and make myself feel better. You're part of the cover. When I'm walking around in public, they'll never catch on. Uh, we part I'm trying to tell him, what do you mean? You're not mixed. You Both your parents are white. You eat. How'd that happen? Are you not eating? Oh, yeah, you can't eat. Mike, I'm not eating. Mike had mouth work, if you know what I mean. Today. My jaw hurts. Ooh. Yeah. Is that bad, huh? Oh, Gotta pay the bills. No, it was actually really good. That's why I'm a jaw hurts. Pay my telephone hurts. bills. Gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. Pay my automobiles. They're all the same. And there's some sauces in there. Sauce, sauces? Sauces. Somewhere. Pay my automobiles. <coughs> Gotta turn up your, uh, your bottom. It's been fucking That's a bit low? soft. Well, in the last one. I thought on the last one everyone's freaking volume was balanced out just fine. I didn't even watch the last one. Al, we could finally hear what Al like was saying. Like the normal public, I also think our podcast sucks. So I did not watch it either. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. when you get fired, you, you know why. Yeah, and then somebody commented that somebody in the group, uh, I think Mike likes to say the word squall a lot. <laughs> I didn't say it a lot. I you say it a lot. That's what they said. Who and then said somebody that? said, which one's Mike? And then the other person said, the fat one. <laughs> and well, then, that's fine. And he's like, well, you got to narrow it down now. <laughs> yeah, there's like four back guys on the podcast. Whoa. I'll call Justin fat. He said this. Yeah. Shit. Only if you're using a PHAT. Cause that I am. It's too bad Mike can't have one of these. There's like five. I, I don't care. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I've got willpower. Anyway, I'm not gonna go. There's just like five. Busting my damn tooth off. On a burrito? Five fucking. Well, it's got crunchy bits in it, dude. Oh my god. I just gotta make sure this fucking crown is glued down good enough. Me, oh. I'm number two. I was told I'm number two. You're number one, motherfucker. No. We're well, going up. Okay, so you were told number two, then why'd you plug it in number three? Did I plug it in three? Well, yeah, I went in order did. of left to right, like you should. Oh, my God. How many? You're fucking. Mike's number two. You're number oh, one. Oh, yeah, because he's like Always a shit. How come two. I can't remember that? I don't know. You come here every fucking I think, week. I think we need to get me into a neurologist, I, and we should do that. I think what happens is you, you realize you're a bigger piece of shit. Oh, I need I to bring so. in. I think so. That's what's coming through. I need to bring in the pictures colors. of my asshole so we can show them on the podcast. Your true colors are coming out. For my, for my colonoscopy. <laughs> By the way, no one was concerned, but I'm negative for any kind of cancer or anything. Oh, Thanks for asking. Shucks. Well, we like, figured you would have been more up. than happy to tell us if you were positive. Ratings would have went up if I had cancer, right? <sighs> we should probably just go ahead and play it like you do so that the ratings go up. I mean, freaking celebrities do shit like that all the time. Do they? Like when the one guy said he had COVID and he was down in his like, basement? Like when like well, when Bruce yeah, Jenner well, yeah. was realized he wasn't really that popular anymore, so he's like, I know, I'll change my sex. And became Caitlyn Jenner. Like when that happened. And now he gets more ass than he ever did? Probably. All right, recording, recording, recording. I, All right, I can't go. even hear myself Five, on the headphones. Five, four, three, two, wait. Hey, bitches. How about now? Nope. I have no volume. Hold on. Your shit's on? Your shit's not on. My shit is on. It's it, not on. It's freaking on. 
Do you want them? You're not even plugged in. Who's plugged in I'm here? plugged in at number two. Remember? Well, yeah, you are number two. Who does you sure that's yours? Number four. You sure that's yours? I think that's mine. That is. That's Justin. You're not even plugged in. Yeah, dick. That's uh, yeah. right there. It's behind the counter right there, next to that box. Is. That's uh, that I power. There, you see. got it. I can't fucking see this shit. I'm number one. You are, asshole. Why are you plugged into number two? Oh, that's much better. Uh, I can't, I can't God, hear I anything sound now. Of my voice. Good. Yeah, right. No, I can't. Good. I don't know what you just did, but... It plugged you into number one, and then the volume is probably down on number one. I can't hear yours either now. Good. I was everything. Because the volume Good. is probably down on number one headphones, dude. Good. Let him turn it no, on. No, it was just on until he plugged yours in. Yeah, good. No, he unplugged yours and he plugged it in number one. Oh, well, there it went. It started. Yeah, as oh, far as the cables. You got a bad. jacked up cable. You better go buy yourself some there new headphones. Hey, oh, 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 was that? I always remember that from Nothing But Trouble. Remember that movie? Oh, Dan Aykroyd. And the Bobo Brothers or yeah. whatever they were. My name's Bobo. You guys got stories? I got test, topics, test, I test, guess. Test, test. I got topics. I, I got, don't know that they're stories. They're not based off of any real articles. Topical cream? Some of them are conspiracy stuff. I got like four stories. Five stories. Oh, look at I got like five stories. Oh, oh like five stories. Yeah, yeah. fuck you, man. If I had zero, I'd be like, oh, you're doing your job. Too bad I'm going to just fucking delete you out of this episode. You're just going to put a black line over it like it oh, was. Oh, wait, we're missing somebody. Like, oh, we have to cover up the dick because we're not allowed to show that on. We're missing someone. Just, uh, Brent? No. Brianna? No. Who? Chucky. Oh shit, I gotta get Chuck. We need uh we need These a are really good. We need a Troy. Troy uh F G. Nobody's got that much long capacity. <laughs> Very good. This is really good. Sonoras. Where's that at? Barnes and Mark Shuffle. It's oh, actually a grocery yeah. store. If he's missing out of there, your wife probably has him upstairs. Oh, look at this. Damn. Woo! Ooh, that's hot. Take my thick heart. It has been be able to get hard in years. That's all you need. So every yeah. time you want to have sex, you just have a mic over with that. Yeah. It's the last time I had sex with Mike. I feel like I'm blowing all day. Awkward. Are we gonna eat this last time? So you have to get I think I had them that one time. I've mean, had them before, but the last time I got them. I think the last time when I you, you, you had to watch this. You. I don't like you. Because you were you, you were getting I did wise. get satisfaction in watching you guys' job go up. <laughs> I bet. What am I looking for? What are you talking about? So I was telling him I got a couple here. Yeah. Well, this is the, the library shit I was going to talk about. I got the one. So the, one of them was that study they just were quoting about the dick size in sports cars. <coughs> Premise of it is they had two groups. One group they told that the average size was four. One group they told the average size was seven. And depending on where, what group you were in, if you were above or below it, mm -hmm. the people that were thought they were below tended to uh, answer questions stating that they like sports cars more. So based on what they felt like, if they were coming up short, they tended to say they responded as they like sports cars more. Uh, I had this one where a pet fish, I don't remember where it was at, but. He was playing like the, uh, what is not the Wii, what's the new Nintendo? The, uh, oh, Switch? 
switch, and he has it complete. Basically, he set it up so it can complete a game with its movements. He did movements and let it just swim around. He's he did this talk. before. He's not gonna talk about the business. Well, anyway, it ended up uh, the game glitched out and went went back to the main screen and ended up purchasing shit on his account based on the movements. <laughs> Fucking me. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about this shit. Boring. Um, Boring. This woman accidentally uh, married her cousin. Uh, <coughs> or married a cousin by accidentally being pregnant. Was also pregnant by him. Did not know. Uh, kind of similar to the other one. How do you not know? They just. I don't remember. They don't meet. They just don't hang out with family. That. Oh, the strange about the name of the grandparents was the same. So they didn't know. Somehow they didn't know when they were talking about histories. They, were the gra- they had grandparents in common. I know. Uh, Here's one about millennials slamming Ace Ventura because of the trans trans with Einhorn is whatever. Remember the kicker is the. Oh. My God. <coughs> they have nothing else to do. And then this woman won forty three million on a slot machine, uh, but. They claim that it glitched and refused to pay her. All they offered her a steak dinner. Yeah, I heard it was probably a like shit that. seven ninety nine dollars or seven ninety nine steak dinner. Too. Oh, and this is one from a few Here's weeks ago. Shittiest cut the about, shittiest cow. This dad legally changes gender to female, so he would have a better odds in court. Right, foul custody. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, actually, for all mm. you fathers out there in custody. Yeah, I should do that. Should win. Test, test, test. Test ease. Test the cold. Test, test the cold. Test, test, test. Yeah. We, we, we need a. We need a. We need to do our own music. Yeah, I know. We say that every week. Uh, but I don't have any drums. I got drums. Well, you like drum pad. <laughs> Electronic drums. Cool. I'm gonna have a jam session. I wanna. Well, Charlie has drums. Oh we, yeah. We, we could jam with him. Yeah, but he hasn't been practicing a lot because he's been hanging out in my mom's basement a lot. Well, he's kind of rusty, but I'm sure he'll pick it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I yeah. He, I, I'm sure he would love to jam. We should try to contact that guy from Police Academy and see if he can do a theme song for us. Well, that uh, Michael. What is it? Oh, I think he passed away, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you talking? All Never right. mind. Maybe we can get Steve Gutenberg to do it for us. Maybe. Mahoney? So, last one I uh, uploaded. Yeah. It's talking about the Eddie. And I said, it's going to be on tomorrow, which is true, but we recorded it the week prior, and Eddie was supposed to be on, uh, like, the 11th or something. Well, you're the one who wasn't paying attention to that when you opened your freaking pie hole. What do you mean? This is fucking... No, it was supposed to be on, but it got, it got canceled. When, when, so, when it was I said, on, so it was on yesterday instead? When I said it's going to be on tomorrow in that podcast, that was the truth at that time. But it got canceled. Okay. And then it, it came on yesterday. So like kinda like that upload did say the truth. At both times. When I said it, when we recorded it, it was true. And then when I uploaded it, it was true. So go. I don't fucking lie. Are you gonna predict more features in this one? Mm-hmm. Expect the same crappy content for 2023? Who would write something like that? It's our editors. Who did write that? It's our editors. I have no control. I just edit the thing and upload it and... It's our producers. Oh, that's my best comment right there. Uh, Mike sure does talk about himself a lot. I bet he would subscribe and watch a podcast starring only himself. Yes, I would. In fact, I have a podcast. I just don't forward it to you guys. And actually, I don't forward it to anybody. Um, I just watch it. 
So it's got one subscriber and only one like per video. It's got you, five stars. You masturbate to it. <laughs> of course. I would. Oh, oh, it was Justin with his other account came back and says, he sure loves saying the word squash. That's where this is coming from. What? I, didn't I don't love that. saying the word. I say, I say the word because I'm not fearful of the word because I know what the word means. Where's my last comment that said, Mike, Mike's the fat one. Did he get deleted? Sure. So, <laughs> I had a friend of mine say, well, no, there was this one guy I knew, he, he was half Hawaiian, but he called himself a Haba Haole. That, that, that means ha -ha. half. Haba. Haba Haole. He says that means... Uh, half. I, he says that means he's he's like really Hawaiian. I'm like, no, it sounds like he's saying half a Haole. <laughs> so that's more what it sounds like. Because a Haba ha Haole means half. Well, Haba means half. Okay. So... When you say Hapa Hawaii, there, yeah. there's tons of them in, in Hawaii. You know, they're Hawaiian and something else. So they have Hapa Hawaii. Yeah, makes sense. Um, That's exactly what I thought it meant. It's like, uh, so he's really Hawaiian. No, no, it doesn't mean he's really like extra Hawaiian. It means he's Hapa Hawaii. He, he has some Hawaiian. Just like Barack Obama, right? Is yeah. he black or white? 50 50, right? Yeah, he's, he's happy. He's happy. Yeah. Oh, so he's Asian? Well, he's, it depends. If he's running for presidency, he's the first black president. No. He's not the uh, 44th white president. <laughs> so. Ooh. Those are really good. They're just different. The potatoes. The you potatoes. Mean the French, French fries? <clears throat> well, yeah. I, okay. French fried potatoes. French fries. Yeah. Potatoes, French fries. Well, whatever, dickhead. Yeah, dickhead. You want to go with french fries? Whatever. Okay. Potatoes. It's like the beef. So I got a threat email. Are we are we recording? Everything's rolling. Everything's rolling. You want to start? Start? I don't care. Okay. There we go. Well, Al can cut that out later. Or whatever. It's all good. Bye. Four, three.